G'day mates, welcome to this video. In today's video, we are going to go over how I've made over $10,000 with Amazon, eBay, and Etsy in the last 12 months and show you proof of these actual transactions. So let's get right into the video and have a look at some of the proof. All right, so how did I make $10,000? We're gonna dive into some of those things here in just a moment, but I did wanna show you guys some of the proof first before we move forward. So um, selling on all three platforms, um, I don't wanna give out any of my account information, but I will show you here. Um, so this is on eBay. These only show in, in 90 day increments, so I'm just gonna quickly show you. So five, $600 there. 241, 385, okay, you get the idea. Um, I'm also gonna pull over from my Amazon, a spreadsheet that I downloaded. Here are all the transactions from Amazon, um, you know, sales as well as withdrawals. And then the big one is right here. This is my Etsy. Uh, dashboard here. So $7,901 in revenue on Etsy as well. So I've made a bit of money on each platform. Just wanted to show you guys, um, you know, what I'm making. Um, but let's jump right back into our slideshow right here. So how did I make that $10,000 in the last 12 months? Well, primarily what I did is drop shipping slash retail arbitrage. Did a bit of both throughout the last 12 months. And what I did is I sourced products online onto Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. And I also, what I also did is fulfill by merchant. So I actually ordered in a bunch of stock and I sold those products from my house. So I had the supplier ship them to me and then I packaged them all up and sent them out myself, okay? So that's kind of the ways that I made money with that. Now my experience when I started, is, as you can see on the right hand side, this is a picture of um, some of my orders that I send out. So I just put them in boxes and, and take them to the post office. Um, but believe it or not, e-commerce was actually the first business that I started. Um, now, at the time, I was still living at home. And so what my brothers and I decided to do, I was like, hey, you know, we should totally try and sell something online. I've heard of this AliExpress thing, Alibaba. We should totally like source a product and try and sell it on eBay. And so we spent tons of time researching different products, trying to find out what we thought would sell well, looking at profit margins. And we ended up buying three different products. And these three products, one of them, we uh, sold very, very well, but we found out that it was actually not allowed to be sold. We, we had a product that had been patented or trademarked, and we got uh, a cease and desist letter saying to take it down, which was unfortunate, because those sales we were getting quite a lot and making a good profit margin on. The second thing, were actually lock picks and I know a lot of people have experience with you know selling these and they sell super well but they're actually a restricted product to sell on eBay and Amazon and so um, you know that was the other product and the last product we had they had these little Bluetooth speakers that we were selling as well and they just did not sell we thought that they would they would sell well but they just didn't the price point we had a lower price and we still have some to this day um, and now that I think of we actually had a fourth product which was kind of these phone stand things um, but we still have some of those as well so you know when I first started out wasn't the best experience it was unfortunate we did make a little bit of money um, but we learned about you know trademark patented products we learned about restricted products and we learned the hard way now what I what happened after that is I actually moved away before we actually decided on what we were going to buy next and invest in and my brothers actually had a lot of success with selling custom PS4 and Xbox controllers. And to this day, they have still been very, very successful with selling these. They make them themselves. Um, but because I moved away, I just decided it's probably best that we part ways and do our own thing because it would just be too much of a headache. So basically what I did, I did a ton of research. I, I was kind of, you know, a bit nervous in what I wanted to do because I had previously not had success with these products. And so I did a lot of research for a long period of time and kind of put it off buying a product and investing. But then I finally did. I ordered an inventory of different products and the picture to the right here is the uh, products that I I've been selling out of my house. And um, I started my own products. So I invested about 20, to, how much? $2,500 into inventory on my first order. And um, 
that's kind of what I started with and, and the product, you know, proved to do well and um, I've, I'm continuing to sell this to this day. So um, how long did it take it take me to research for this product? Um, just want to give you some answers to this question because I know a lot of you may be wondering that. Um, the research product phase probably took me, I don't know, probably a month or two, I would say, to find that product and then test it, give it a go. And then I spent $2,500 on inventory and shipping and everything included in my expenses. So I had some success selling that same product, which is which was really great. All right. So that's kind of my experience so far. Uh, a little about my story in e-commerce. So basically what I want to do is just kind of break down the process of, you know, really simply what you go through in order to go from finding a product to selling it online. Okay. And just break down each step. So I know that's my face maybe covering some of these points, but I'll make sure to go over all of them. So the first thing you want to do is market and product research. Now this may include going online and seeing what is already selling well. You can see the best sellers on Amazon, on eBay and Etsy. You can find out what is already doing well and you can use that to kind of get ideas for what you can source from you know, AliExpress, Alibaba or other you know, sites where you can source products from and find suppliers. Then you want to source the product. You want to go out there and you know find the product that you want. Maybe if it has a little bit, you know, it's different from what's selling well. It's got maybe something unique about it that you could kind of see as a benefit to the market. And you want to contact multiple suppliers. So you want to reach out to lots of different suppliers. There's lots of different parameters you want to look for when you're contacting these suppliers um, because some of them, you know it's just better to trust certain suppliers that have been around a lot longer and, and can deliver on their products. And um, basically what you're going to do is just get quotes and pricing on the product to see what kind of profit margin you can work with based on the prices that you're seeing being sold online. You know, And then you got to counter in all the eBay, Amazon, Etsy fees that they do charge. Then what you want to do is negotiate with the suppliers, You know, work them down on their costs and there's lots of different strategies you can do to kind of um, you know, talk them down in price. And then what you can do as, as kind of an option is get a sample product. So you can get the product sent to your house, you can check it out, maybe take some nice product photos and you use that to um, make your listings. Now, the sample product, you don't necessarily have to get one. What you can do, the supplier usually has a, a set of images they already have they can send to you if you just ask them for the product. But it is nice to take your own pictures too because pictures do matter a lot when you're selling online. And then um, basically you want to order a small quantity of products, kind of you, you want to test if the product is viable. So you don't want to invest a, a ton of money into something if you don't know if all of them are going to sell. So you want to order a small quantity in the beginning. Um, and then what you want to do is create and optimize your listings. So, you know, creating your titles, your descriptions, optimizing your keywords to rank in, you know, the search engines. And then you just basically want to mount manage and fulfill the orders as well as you know provide customer service to people who have questions and you know just be as friendly as you possibly can to help you get good reviews in the from the beginning those are really really important when you start a store is getting those good reviews because it builds up rep your reputation and then you just want to order more stock and repeat the whole process so that's basically the breakdown of the process hopefully i've explained that pretty clearly but obviously i did not go into a detail about any of these things but um, I'd like to make more videos on these things and if you'd like to see them, let me know in the comments. I should be making more videos um, on these particular topics to help you with the strategy. All right, so basically that's kind of going to be wrapping up the video here. I wanted to share, break down that process for you to see what, what there is that you know is entailed in, in getting a product and selling it online. Now it does take a little bit of experience or you, know, you learn from your experience you go. Um, I definitely recommend looking at material that you can learn this kind of stuff which is exactly what i'm going to be making on this channel so if you are interested in learning these things i would really appreciate it if you subscribe if you're new to this channel and like this video to let me know if this is something that you'd like to see so um in the comments as well if you have any questions on aspects of this that you want to know about or make want me to make a video on let me know as well and um, you know, I'm going to be documenting my journey in amazon fba uh, very very soon i'm going to be going through the whole process of doing that because what I've noticed is that the business model that I currently have for e-commerce is just kind of, it definitely works, but I think that there's more opportunity in, you know, the Amazon FBA space. And that's kind of what I want to move to, you know, because I, I mean, 
it does get a little bit tedious fulfilling orders myself and I'd like to you know really get into Amazon FBA and, and start that I've wanted to for a very long time and you know um, for those of you who are also wanting to learn more about entrepreneurship and stuff if that's kind of what you're doing and you want to follow my journey and you know learn about some of the goals that I have then please also subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll be seeing more of that as well. But I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button. It helps support my channel and I will see you guys very, very soon.